guys, welcome back to another episode of Surviving Life Podcast. It's your girl Tiana Woods. Today's episode is going to be about splitting the bill, 50 50 relationship, and boy crazy friends. If you're new here, please like, share, subscribe to this podcast. You know, we're about to get into this episode. I had a therapy session, so you know, you're a little naked in the face. I was like, damn, I don't feel like doing makeup. But you know, content got to get recorded for podcasts. So here we are. If you're new here, please like, share, subscribe, and let's hop right into this video. to boy crazy friends i feel like people underestimate the fact that also male can be girl crazy friends because there are some men out here who would do shady shit to their guy friends just for the attention of a female woman whatever you want to call it i say woman in this case and the same goes for girls because girls do it too women do it too so when i say that i mean as if like they will make shady comments in front of like a group of guys when you're there with them just to put yourself down but to make them feel better or like they're the type that will really sleep with your old John or sleep with a guy that you know they know that you like or stuff like that and there's people like that in this world and honestly there are the low of the low those people cannot be trusted and when I say they can't be trusted I mean like down to family okay if you can do that to me as a friend because we not even, like I'm your friend but they say blood thick in the water sometimes but if you cannot do that loyalty to your own family there is no loyalty that you can hold to me and a lot of people who are boy crazy I'm not gonna lie or girl crazy they grew up in that type of environment or they just miss that in their growth of growing up as an adult people who tend to seek for male validation or women validation are insecure within themselves and they always feel the need to put others down to compensate for what they're feeling yes 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 i personally i don't fuck with boy crazy friends i don't got time for that and have i came upon a couple of them yeah i sure did i oh yeah i sure did i sure did because to this day i believe a boy i used to talk to and then i messed with a girl who was like not my ex-friend but i think it was probably like probably months after or a year after I started messing around and it's just like it, it just shows like you that type of person and you have people who are like that just for the simple fact that they want to prove that they're better than you or they believe that they're better than you so they're gonna be like all right if she could get this i could definitely top that you got people like that in this world um advice stay away from them they have no loyalty no respect have you seen cassie on euphoria they'll cassie your ass okay they will cassie your ass okay have you seen you if you have not seen euphoria when she slept with her friend's boyfriend and kept going on and going on knowing that it was wrong you need to go watch it because there women, there are women and people like that in this world and even with flirting and sometimes it's like oh it's been so long so why do you care it's just the principle of things you just don't do shit like that because if rose was switching it was you you'll be pissed so you just don't do stuff like that but i highly recommend to be very wary of those friends and also like they might not portray it to you like they might not do it to you but if you see them do it to somebody else then most definitely they will do it to you okay i came across a couple of that in college i wasn't one to experience it even though i know i have experienced it i just never really like physically like been in a position where i saw it firsthand but i knew it happened um the people are fucked up in this world people are fucked up and men do the same thing too niggas will sneak this you and mess with your ex shorty on the low you won't even know for a while okay so that's what i have to say about boy crazy friends and girl crazy friends keep them out of distance don't fuck with them because at that point when stuff like so when you experience it like that you don't know who to trust after that it messes up your whole mindset i openers to know if you have a boy crazy guy crazy friend okay they always make sneak this com comments to you when they're around men okay right right anytime you meet a guy and how do i put this anytime you meet a guy and they just like overly complimenting the guy that's another thing too that's another thing too or when you get the sense that they already feel superior to you 
those are those people. Just to let y'all know. But okay. anyways, 50, 50 in relationships. Now, let's talk about the average human being, okay? The average human being in America. Let's say that the average human being in America makes about 50K, right? That's the average human being, right? For a woman and a man. All right, that's the average human being. Now, I feel like society has this concept of women, and I'm not gonna lie, I, I love it, but sometimes it's like be realistic that women don't have to pay no bills. And I'm not gonna sit here and act as if I wanna pay a bill, because I don't. <laughs> I don't. But I know that I, I will have to someday at some point in time. So I am a firm believer that a man should pay the rent, the rent, hands down, man should pay the rent. But I am also a firm believer that a woman can do the miscellaneous shit. Like if I'm in a marriage and I'm, and I, I'm in a marriage and there's people that stick here, if you're in a marriage and y'all both do not, and he does not make a good amount of money to cover for rent, be realistic, y'all gonna have to go 50-50. It's just being realistic. It's being realistic. But then also you have to understand that 50-50 in your relationship could look 50-50 to somebody else's relationship. So say like my, me and my man's 50-50 is he paid a rent, I take care of groceries, I get the toiletries, I maintain the the household but I still work I still got my own coins he allows me to save my money and he's do what he got to do for the rent and stuff like that but I make sure that everything else is good in the house my errand just fell out <laughs> that could be a 50 50 in a relationship sometimes a 50 50 in a relationship is y'all both split the bills y'all both split rent but I'm not gonna lie I'm not gonna sit here and say that I want to split the rent but if money is not everything so if i happen to come across a man and he don't make more than me or i make more we, we could split the, we split it like you know we split it but i to be honest like it's kind of like you know like oh do i want to pay the whole bill as a woman no i don't but to be honest if i didn't have a man i would have to do it on my own anyway and that's tea that, that's T. That's what we got to start realizing. That's T. And also, um, the 50-50 concept, it doesn't always have to be a bad thing. It does not always have to be a bad thing. It doesn't. And I feel like people make 50-50 make feel so bad when it really doesn't have to be. Everybody can define what 50-50 in a relationship to them is. Yeah. Now I'm sitting here saying that I want to pay rent all my life. If I'm married and my man make the coinage, and he be like, "Yo, babe, you just take care of groceries. You pay the light bill. That's a miscellaneous shit. I got the rent. I got the gas. I got the what? He handled that thing. We good. You feel me? That's what I want in my marriage. When I do get married, when I see this, wait, hold on. Do which hand? I don't know which hand you even. I, I guess assume, I think it's the left. Anyways, do I when I when I get a husband? When I get a husband, that's what I want. And I am aiming for that because that's what I want. That's what I want. I want to be able to be in my feminine era. But also, as a woman, I feel like you still need to stay in your masculine era because suppose you don't have a man. You still have to do those things regardless of what if you do have a man or you don't have a man. But I feel like it's good to practice when you have one and when you don't because at the end of the day, like I'm gonna use marriage and relationships for example. I'm gonna use the situ. I'm gonna use like P and B Rock for an example. Like you know how P and B Rock he passed away. Rest in peace to him. I'm not saying that this is her situation, but I'm saying like if you're with a man and y'all not married, comes a point in time where God forbid something happens to him and he's been taking care of this, he's been taking care of that, and then you don't know what to do now that he's gone. And I feel like as a woman, we should all be working. I don't care. House, if you want to be a housewife, all right, fine, whatever. But I feel like as women, we should all still be working at the same time. Even if our man, well, I put it like this. Even if you're in a relationship that, I don't want to say a man allows you. If you're in a relationship that allows you to be in your feminine energy, allows you to stack your money and spend your money or whatever the fuck you want to spend it on, I still feel like you should work and you should have that mindset of shit. God forbid something happens to him and the insurance coverage is gone. Shit, I got myself. And I think that people really mess up with that as far as like being in these situations, being in these relationships. I feel like people forget like shit, like I've been with this nigga for 10 years, no ring, no nothing. And I don't got my own 
own shit and he making all the money god forbid he pass on what the fuck do i get in real life if he don't write anything for me you know so i feel like as women we should always think about that so as men too we should think about that as well like it's 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 the truth it, it may hurt but it's so true because people get stuck in some fucked up situations where they've been in a relationship for so long he never married me now he's dead and i don't have anything or vice versa people marry for security people marry for love but also you always have to remember that security is something the security doesn't have to be the funds it could be the health perspective of it just throwing that out there okay now 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 splitting the bill splitting the bill all right y'all can tell me in the comments if you want i don't care but if it's splitting the bill we split that fucking bill okay we spend that fucking bill i'm a firm believer and we're spending the bill if i sat here and ate a meal with you and you ate a meal with me and we all ate food together bitch we spend that bill and when you split the bill is cheaper like that's just common sense so you were trying to take everything off your paycheck off the paycheck and put it on one paycheck for you to pay it's stupid it's stupid now in defense if it's five of us and each of us had two drinks each and your ass decided that you wanted to have three more drinks four more drinks you just running up the tab you paying for those four more drinks that you bought because it's not fair to everybody else that we all had two and you had four extra off the two so baby you had six we'll split the first two that you bought together but the other four you're gonna purchase on your own because what are you doing and i'm not gonna lie you do have people who tend to run up the tab or the bill because they're splitting the bill because when you split the bill it's cheaper now you have to be careful with the type of friends that you go out at some point in time you gotta be mindful because you do have friends who run up the tab because it's gonna be cheaper when they split the bill you have that people who have no conscience who don't care who not thinking about everybody else's pocket they just thinking oh we spend the bill it's gonna be cheaper i'm gonna run up the tab you have that so you have to be mindful okay be very mindful now if we all ate and everybody goes yeah bitch we spend the bills don't be at talking about some oh 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 I only had a water and I had that appetizer and, and and I had um you know the chicken and broccoli you ate the same amount of food that I ate I had the same thing what are you talking about don't do that no we don't have time for that no don't do that I hate that I hate that I experienced that at, at a Thai restaurant oh my gosh the bill was like 400 i think and it was like six of us 400 it was like six or five i think it was like six of us and we had two i think we had all had two drinks each but she did she drank a she drank one drink or she had a spark something like that yo this girl really said well i ain't wasn't friends with her anyway i ain't invite her out anyways but you know none of us really her friends anyways except for the other two bro she really sat here and said yeah can i have a separate check and you know upscale Thai restaurants in Manhattan would look that they looked at her like but he just did it anyways but I hate I hate that like if we all came here and ate what we ate just with the bell but if you OD in and you ordering four entrees and get now I understand why people say no no don't split the bill that part I could understand that part because people do OD I'm not gonna lie but it, complaining about splitting the bill and y'all just all had a good time and especially if it's someone's birthday you do not include the birthday person i'm going to get into the you ask and i spill my favorite segment oh by the way you guys like my nails i did them yeah anyways my favorite segment where you guys ask me questions and i answer them <laughs> Okay, the first question is, do you believe on a birthday that the person's birthday that it is should split the bill? Hell fucking no. Why are you spending the bill? First of all, it's your birthday. I, it's just, I don't, I don't think you should pay for anything. It's your birthday. Like, maybe when we was, like, in middle school, high school, because niggas wasn't really working. We ain't had the funds like that. Especially if you came from a one-parent household. You know, for me, no. Like, no. Like, then it was like, okay, fine. Everybody got their own money. We pay for me. Um, now I feel like you pay as a friend, y'all come together, y'all divide it, and y'all pay the bill. That's how my birthday dinner went with where my when my boyfriend had it for me. That's how the birthday dinner had went. Well, my exit for me. He literally 
paid for me and him and everybody else paid for themselves that's how that goes um for my friend Anika last year when her birthday I came back from Angola we everybody who was there we paid the bill she didn't pay for nothing me when me and Anika went out with Aaliyah for her birthday we paid the bill Aaliyah didn't pay for shit and we went out to a lounge that's just what you do and first of all we didn't pay for no drinks because some guy bought us drinks ah, he, he was running up the path <laughs> He offered left and right. You don't want nothing more? Yeah, I want nothing more. I was like, ooh, pour it up. Pour it up. <laughs> but yeah, I'm a hermit that you shouldn't. That you shouldn't at all. Um, if your friends are making you, if your friends talking about some where's your money, they're not your friends. <laughs> because that's weird. If, I mean, if you out, if you knew that you couldn't pay for the dinner when it came to y'all going out, then no. I say that the max for per person, 150, to make sure you have 150 secure, just, just for room space, 150, in today's generation of going out to eat. Yeah. 4K for a steak, no. The most I've been out in the bill was like probably 1600, but it was like 12 of us, so it was okay. But yeah. Okay, I went out twice when the bill was in the thousands. One was a hundred per person, and the other one was yeah, it was it, it was, but that it was more like like eight of us. But it was what it was. We had fun though. Yeah. Do you believe that fifty fifty in a relationship is okay? All right, I explained this already. However, um, me personally, I know that I do not want that. Like, I want to be married to a man when we have good security, okay? And when I say good security, I mean for the both of us. That way, God forbid, whoever goes first, whoever goes first, the other one who's left can be secure, okay? I just want that. Now, how me and my man define what 50-50 is, is between me and my man. Keep that between you and your man. Don't go telling your friends what you and your man discussed at being 50-50, okay? Don't do that. Because then they're going to be like, oh, they're going to be thinking, like, oh, that's what your man, oh, he's not a man. Or, and then, oh, that you, oh, you wear the pants in their shirt. Oh, no, I want my man. Da, 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 da. Me, personally, I would like my man to have me in my feminine energy where I don't got to worry about nothing. But that's when I have my husband. As far as I'm concerned, ain't no ring on his finger. I'm single till I die, okay? So, when my husband, when I get my husband, it's crazy, cause I never talk about marriage like but when I get my husband, I want to make sure that we are both secure, whether one gone, we are both okay, okay? And that's what we discuss as our 50 50, okay? If he be like, yeah, um, I'm, we, and, and when you do 50 50, you have to talk about your finances together. So whoever makes the most money, I'm not gonna lie, whoever makes the most money is more likely that you might be paying the rent. Or if you, you're a man, like, I don't know, I can't really see myself as a woman paying the rent when my man is here. It's either we splitting it or he paying it. Necessarily see myself paying it if I'm with my husband. Like I don't see that. By myself, yes. If I'm single, yes. I see that by myself. Single, not married. Single, married. No, I see my husband handling that. And I see me, you know, picking kids for school, make sure the kids do their homework, um, groceries in here, dinner is cooked, all that. I actually see myself being that type of woman, being that type of wife, but also still having my nine to five, still have, making sure that I have insurance for me and my children's God forbid anything happens to my husband. That's just me though. That's just me. That's me. So yeah, um, how I describe my 50-50 is like that. I see my man paying the rent. Me, I do the miscellaneous light bill. Make sure the kids is good. Toiletries, house is neat. That's my take of that. All right, guys. That is all for today's episode on Surviving Life. I love you guys, and I'll see you guys on the next video, okay? Bye.